Hi there, this is Chris from Thinking Church here with another video for you today. Uh, before we get started, why not subscribe to this video and hit that bell icon and then it all comes to your feed, which is great. And also the, uh, the little thumbs up button as well is always good because it just helps us reach more people, which is really cool. So today uh, we're going to be talking about don't start with why, start with who. But before I do, just want to let you know quickly that uh, we have a free 10-day health check. Just go to our website, www.thinking.church. And on the homepage, you can sign up to our mailing list. And not only will you get great emails every week, which will straight to your inbox, which is very, very cool, but also you get a free 10-day uh, health check that you can go through with your team and it would look at your church finances and your mission statement values, everything like that. And it's great, you'll love it. So go to our homepage and sign up there. Okay, so I'm gonna talk with you about don't start with why, start with who. Now, you might have heard the phrase start with why. It's a very, very famous book by uh, author Simon Sinek, and I love that book. I think it's a brilliant book. But I wonder if there's a little trick that Simon missed on that book that really can help us. And, and this is this, instead of starting with why, start with who. Now, in marketing, uh, there's, there's old way of marketing or the traditional way of marketing was that you would push products to people. You build a product that you like and you push it to people. But actually the new way of thinking about marketing in the, in the business world is that you design products for people. So I'm just gonna repeat that. So don't push products to people, design products for people. Now let's put that into the church world. Don't push ministry to people, design ministry for people. So the first method is that you decide what you like and the ministry you want to do and the things that you want to talk about and the way you want to talk about it and you try and make people come to it. You know, and um, it's the kind of um, field of dreams approach. Build it and hopefully they'll come. But actually, the reality is they don't. And um, this, But the second way is a lot more servant-hearted and that's going, who is it that I'm existing to serve? Who am I trying to reach? And what do they need and how can I help them and how can I design ministry that's going to reach them and help them grow in their faith? So the first approach is, God is more selfish and the second one is more servant hearted. And to be able to find your who, you've got to look at your, you've got to find a target market and that's a bit of a, it sounds like a bit of a dirty word for the church, but actually it's really, really helpful. And all it is, is looking for, is not looking about age and race and gender or anything like that. It's about looking at attitudes, interests, and opinions. And uh, you can do, uh, you can do a whole exercises where you look at, you know, what kind of things people are interested in, what are the things they buy, and that really helps you get a, a, a really good grasp of the people that you are trying to reach. And, and then you design ministry around them. So here's three things to have a little think about when you, when you start with who rather than why. Starting with who gives clarity to your why because your why is really, really important. It will be the most important phrase in your church, but you always have to, your why being your mission statement, but you have to be able to articulate, articulate that in a way that is going to be heard and understood by your target market. So before you can work out why, and before you can have clarity on your why, you've got to know your who. Then starting with who will help you give clarity to your how, because how you do ministry is completely designed around who you're trying to reach. So starting with who will give clarity to your how, and then starting with who will give clarity to your what. And that is what you do, the, the programs that you run. Uh, and, and actually all of those things are give clarity because you want to design it around people. You want to, uh, you want to design ministry for people, not push ministry to people. So that is, I think, something that will really, really help you think about who, sort out your target market, and will really, really help you design ministry for people rather than push ministry to people. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.